Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about uh, clocks topic. Uh, this is the uh, last session for this uh, clocks topic. Uh, here, the first question in this session is: uh, A clock is set right at 5 a.m. Exactly at 5 a.m. the clock is uh, showing the correct time. Clock loses 16 minutes uh, in 24 hours. In 24 hours, clock loses 16 minutes. It means that when the true time is showing 24 hours of a clock in a day, then the wrong time shows that it is only 23 hours and 16 minutes loses. It means only 44 minutes. 23 hours, 44 minutes. That is the wrong time which is showing. 44 minutes you just convert into hours that is nothing but 44 by 60 which is equal to you can take it as 11 by 15 so this will be equal to 23 plus 11 by 15 you can uh, multiply these two what you will get here by taking the LCM 15 23 15 uh, that is uh, 230 plus 115 that is uh, 345 345 plus 11 that is 356 right here it is uh, initially when we are multiplying with 15 you just take the 10 times after that take the half of that value and then add those two you will get that particular value easily and then add the remainder if you add the remainder you will get it as uh, 356 356 hours when the true clock shows 24 hours, whereas the wrong clock, it runs only 356 by 15 hours. It means that it is a shortage of 16 minutes according to the question. What will be the true time when the clock indicates 10 a.m. on 4th day? 10 a.m. on 4th day. 10 a.m. on 4th day in the sense here the true time is initially set right in both the clocks at 5 a.m. right this is a first uh, this is a first time here we need to find the true time we don't know true time uh, in fourth day at uh, 10 p.m. so if you take this one as reference one day is nothing but uh, 5 a.m. and this is one day and this is uh, another day second day and if you take another one, this is third day. And if you take another one, this is uh, fourth day. Fourth day, 5 a.m. Right? Fourth day, 5 a.m. But we want uh, 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. If you want uh, on fourth day, this is first day. This is second day. This is third day. And this is fourth day. Fourth day, 10 p.m. It means that... Uh, total how many hours uh, here from here onwards additionally you need to add additionally you need to add how many hours you just uh, note down here if you take this one as a reference uh, fourth day in the sense this is first day second day third day and fourth day not this one see this is second this is third and this is fourth uh, here in order to reach 10 pm how many hours are required additionally here additionally from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. the number of hours required number of hours required on the day evening uh, up to evening uh, 5 that is uh, five, uh, 12 hours after that again 5 hours total 17 hours are required additionally 17 hours now you can add a uh, total number of hours at this point Total number of hours is nothing but from here to here 24 hours. Again from here to here 24 hours. From here to here 24 hours plus 17 hours additionally. Total if you add these three what you will get 72, 72 hours plus 17 hours which is equal to 89 hours. 89 hours of wrong time is showing how many hours of correct time here 89 hours is nothing but that is the time is showing it is 10 pm on fourth day on fourth day we are talking about so we need to find the true time exactly right we know that 
356 by 15 hours of wrong time is equal to 24 hours then 89 hours of wrong clock is equal to how many hours then you can calculate this one 24 into 89 divided by 356 by 15 so 89 4 356 and 4 6 24 6 into 15 which is nothing but 90 hours 90 hours of true time 90 hours of true time which means that 90 hours of true time and uh, this is 89 hours of wrong time it means the true time is one hour more than the wrong time here the wrong time is 10 pm therefore true time becomes one hour more than the wrong time that will shows 11 pm 11 pm is the true time which shows on fourth day that is the answer for this question let's move on to the next question this is the last question uh, in clocks topic uh, by this uh, clocks topic will be over see here a clock is set right at 8 am set right at 8 am right and uh, a clock gains 10 minutes uh, in 24 hours uh, let us take this is a true time and this is a wrong time 10 minutes gain 10 minutes gain in the sense if the true time is 24 hours uh, then the wrong time will be 24 hours plus 10 minutes which means that uh, now you can convert into hours 10 by 60 which is nothing but uh, 1 by 6 hours so it will be 144 plus 1 145 by 6 hours if the true time shows 24 hours then the wrong time is 145 by 6 hours now the question is what will be the true time when the correct uh, when the clock indicates 1 pm on the following day 1 pm on following day that is uh, we are talking about wrong time and we have to find the true time at 1 pm which shows in the wrong clock uh, then what is the correct time for uh, true time true time or correct time whatever it is uh, here we need to find this one from 8 am onwards to 1 pm how many hours 8 am to 1 pm on the following day following day in the sense next day 8 am to 8 am that is exactly 24 hours 24 hours plus from 8 am to 1 pm it is 5 hours so total 29 hours 29 hours of wrong time is equal to how many hours of correct time so you we know that uh, 24 hours of correct time is equal to 145 by 6 hours of wrong time similarly 29 hours of wrong time is equal to how many hours of correct time just uh, do the cross multiplication over here you will get the answer 145 by 6 here it is 29 5 sir 29 5 sir 145 so if you take it as uh, 144 by 5 which is equal to this is our correct answer if you want to convert into minutes uh, how much it is uh, 2 5 2 sir 5 2 sir after that uh, 44 44 means again uh, 8 times uh, again still 4 is there 4 is the remainder by 5 28 4 by 5 hours which is equal to 28 hours uh, 4 by 5 hours is nothing but 48 minutes that is the true time true time here the true time becomes uh, here 29 hours of a uh, wrong time is equal to 28 hours 48 minutes of true time so obviously the difference between these two wrong time and correct time is 12 minutes and difference between these two is 12 minutes so here the time it shows that 12 minutes before 1 pm here it is 1 pm so it is definitely 12 minutes less than the 1 pm which means that 12 48 pm on the following day this is the true time which shows so this is about the entire topic of clocks i hope you understand and enjoy the session thank you thank you very much for watching